What's up guys, welcome back to the new video. I'm your host Yash from Equity Master trying to make market simpler for you. Thank you for tuning in every week, it means a lot. First of all, my best wishes for 2025. Let's make 2025 a year full of love, health and wealth. As another year ends and we mark new beginnings, I want to take the opportunity and thank you for being here. Your time is precious and we know that. So choosing to spend just a few minutes of it with us and our writing each week is really a gift. Also, before we move on, please note that this video is for information purposes only. It's not a stock recommendation and should not be treated as such. There's no opinion or view on any stock covered herein. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's get started. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some drone stocks in India. The global drone market is experiencing a big boom projected to reach $54 billion by 2025 and potentially to $91 billion by 2030. This growth trajectory provides a strong tailwind for companies operating in this space. India is actively positioning itself as a global leader in the drone industry, aiming to become a major drone hub by the year 2030. Government initiatives and a conductive regulatory environment have backed this solid ambition. The Indian government's Product Link Incentive or PLI scheme launched back in 2021 has already disbursed 30 crore rupees out of the total incentive pool of rupees 120 crores, boosting the industry's growth. Drones are finding increasing applications across industries and sectors, expanding the opportunity size. They are becoming indispensable tools for enhancing military capabilities, surveillance and surveying. Drones are also revolutionizing agriculture through precision farming, enabling efficient crop monitoring, pesticide application, and soil analysis. Initiatives like the Kisan Drone Scheme further incentivize drone adoption in this sector. When a sector shows so much potential, it just makes sense to look at it a little deeply. So keeping that in mind, we'll look at the five drone stocks in this video. These companies are filtered using Equity Master's powerful stock screener and further based on their fundamentals and their strong growth plans for the year 2025. So let's get started. The first stock on this list is Zen Technologies. Zen Technologies designs, develops and manufactures combat training solutions and counter drone solutions for defense and security forces. It is actively involved in the technology side of the drones which cater to Indian armed force, state police forces and paramilitary forces. On the financials front, the company has shown 5-year sales compounded annual growth rate of 37% and a 3-year sales CAGR of 100%. Similarly, net profit has grown at a compound annual growth rate of 257% over the last 3 years and over 57% over the last 5 years. Zen Technologies does not manufacture drones but it is heavily involved in the entry drone market. The company sees the anti drone market as a key area for growth both domestically and internationally. The demand for anti drone systems is increasing rapidly due to the growing threat posed by drones. Its anti drone systems are designed to detect track and neutralize hostile drones using both soft kill and hard kill methods. The company is investing in research and development to develop the next gen anti-drone systems as well. It has partnered with companies like AI Turing Technologies to develop advanced components such as the Hawkeye anti-drone system camera. The company is also integrating anti-drone solutions with other products such as remote control weapons and stations. The company's management has consistently guided for a 50% compound in annual growth rate in revenue from financial year 26 to financial year 28. The total order book as on 30th September 2024 stands at 9,500 crores. The order inflow has been slow but the management is confident that the order inflow will start towards the third end quarter and major orders will come in the fourth quarter of this year. The company's stock price currently trades at a price to earnings multiple of 107x. Moving on. The next stock on this list is Ratan India Enterprises. The company operates in various tech-focused new age businesses including e-commerce, electric vehicles and drones. Coming to its financials, the company's sales have grown drastically to 5,600 crores in financial year 24 from just Rs 14 crores in financial year 22. But the profit margin of the company is low because a major portion of its revenue comes from its e-commerce business. Also, many of the company's investments such as drones and electric vehicles are in the relatively early stages of the development. These businesses may take some time to achieve profitability as they build market share. Ratan India aims to provide 360 degree drone solutions to customers with drone as a product service, drone as a software service and software as a service SaaS drone software. Its drone business is conducted through its wholly owned subsidiary Neo Sky India and its step down subsidiary Throttle Aerospace Systems.
Total Aerosystems is a market leader in enterprise defense and delivery drones. It was acquired by NeoSky on 24 May 22 for Rs 200 million. Throttle Aerospace has made India's first BGCA approved drone and has a license to make drones for the Ministry of Defence. The company is working on a miniature drone for the consumer drone market. Its enterprise drones excel in specialized tasks such as crowd monitoring, vehicle detection and classification and foreign object debris detection. These drones operate at an impressive frame rate of 30 to 45 fps without extra load and achieve high accuracy levels of up to 95%. In 2024, it deployed an autonomous drone surveillance solution to the Indian Army. The company has also launched an innovation made in India anti-drone defender. It can look, track and hunt down rogue drones which are entering unauthorized spaces. Ratan India has further entered the drone services market which covers categories like land mapping, infrastructure, inspection, surveillance, logistics and agriculture. The L-15 cargo drone has been deployed to deliver essential supplies in flood affected areas in the Andhra Pradesh. Here's how the company's stock price have moved in the past one year. Moving on, at third, we have Paris Defence and Space Technologies. Paris Defence and Space Technologies is primarily engaged in designing, developing, manufacturing and testing of a variety of defence and space engineering products and solutions. Paris Defence has recently folded into the drone segment. It has multiple subsidiaries dedicated to drone technologies such as Paris Aerospace. Coming to its financials, the company has shown 5-year sales CAGR of 10% and a 3-year sales CAGR of 21%. Its net profit has grown at a compounded annual growth rate of 24% over the 3-year period and 10% over a 5-year period. As of March 2024, the company's order book stood at 6,300 crores. It specializes in world-class radio frequency and microwave solutions offering products such as jammers, software-defined radiators and detection systems to counter drone threats. The company sees a large amount of future growth in the drone sector, particularly the anti-drone technology. The global counter UAS or unmanned aircraft systems market was valued at over $1.2 billion in 2023 and it's projected to grow at a CAGR of 7% till the year 2034. Paris Defence also owns a majority stake in Paris Green UAV, which focuses on agriculture drone technology. Here's how the stock price of Paris Defence has moved in the past one year. Moving on, the fourth stock on this list is Idea Forge Technology, an Indian company that designs, develops and manufactures drones. Idea Forge is a pioneer in the Indian drone market and holds a 50% market share of the unmanned aircraft systems segment. It's ranked 5th globally for drone manufacturing in the dual usage category which is civil and defence. In July 2023, the stock was listed at Rs 1294 on the both the exchanges with a 94% gain from its issue price of Rs 638 to Rs 672 at the upper band. But since then, the stock price has crashed and fallen below the IPO price. Coming to its financials, the company has shown 5-year sales KGAR of 77% and a 3-year KGAR of 109%, but the net profits have not grown at the same pace. The operating margin has continuously fallen from a high of 47% in financial year 22 to 19% in financial year 24. The company's management has provided several key reasons for this. First is the competitive bidding. The company sometimes bids aggressively to secure large contracts, especially from government entities accepting lower upfront gross margins. During the fourth quarter of financial year 24, and in its earnings call, the company's management explained that some opportunities being built during the period were close to a year back and the gross margins were locked in at that time due to the competitive nature of the bids. The second reason why its margins are impacted are its investment in growth. Idea Ford Technologies is investing heavily in areas like sales, marketing and new systems to support future growth leading to increased expenses that impact margins in the short term. The company's management emphasized during the first quarter of financial year 25 that their quest for growth necessitate higher expenses which reflects in their financials. The third reason behind the slow margins and low earnings growth is its product mix. The specific products and contracts executed in a particular period can significantly influence the overall margin and this mix can fluctuate from quarter to quarter. The company's management has highlighted in the first quarter that revenue and profitability are dependent on the product mix, but they did not disclose further specifics. By the end of the second quarter of financial year 25, the company's order book stands at Rs 22 crores with the L1 pipeline of over 300 crores. 
the L1 pipeline includes sizable international opportunities. The company's management expects the current order book to be executed within the next two quarters. It has also received seven new patents in areas such as battery management, propulsion systems, and drone safety. Idea Forge is investing heavily in R&D and CapEx for Make2 programs aimed at developing advanced drones with features like swarming and operating in challenging GPS-denied environments. Moving on, the last stock on this list is DCM Sriram Industries. It is primarily engaged in production and sale of sugar, alcohol, power, chemicals and drones and industrial fibers. The major portion of the company's revenue comes from the sugar and chemical businesses. DCM Sriram Industries has big plans for its industrial fiber and defense segments which manufacture and develops drones and anti-drone systems. The company is looking to demerge and spin off two new entities. One will house its industrial fiber and defense business while the second one will handle its chemical business. The demerger will also allow each segment to grow and flourish with a singular focus on their business segments. On the financials front, the company has shown a 5-year CAGR in sales of 4% and a 3-year sales CAGR of 2%. Similarly, its net profit has grown at a compounded annual growth rate of 21% over the 3 years and 9% over a 5-year period. DCM Sriram Industries has a 30% equity stake in Zyron Dynamics, a Turkish company. In partnership with ZD, it is working to manufacture two variants of drones. In addition to this partnership, DCM has already partnered with Skylock, an Israeli company to manufacture counter drone systems in India. It has exclusive rights for manufacturing and marketing these systems in India. DCM is aggressively pursuing sales of these defense products in India and abroad. The company has viable products in three verticals including drones and counter drone systems to highlight to its customers. Here's how the stock price has moved in the past one year. So there you go. These were some of the drone stocks that you should keep on your radar in the year 2025. Investing in drone stocks requires a cautious approach despite the industry's potential for growth. While companies have displayed impressive performance, certain risks do exist in this sector. Many companies heavily rely on government agencies for a significant portion of their revenue. Further, any shift in government policies or budget allocations could, could severely impact their financial stability. The drone industry is attracting numerous players these days, both domestically and internationally. That is why there is heightened competition. This heightened competition could put pressure on the profit margins and make it challenging for smaller companies to thrive. Thorough due diligence, a long-term perspective, a focus on corporate governance and a diversified portfolio are essential for mitigating these risks and potentially reaping the rewards of this emerging sector. Also, a lot of the viewers have asked us where the markets are headed in 2025 and what they could expect. Well, no one can really expect where the market is going to move. No one knows what the stock markets or the Indian stock markets in particular will do in the year 2025. What I do know is that if one truly sticks and believes in the underlying strategy that they have in place, there's nothing to be worried about and they should have a good night's sleep. While the large street investors focus on the quarterly results and daily news, you should focus on the long term. That is the key to success in the stock market. That's it for today guys. Don't forget to like this video and share it with like-minded investors and make them as smart as you are. Do check out the vast library of the content that we have created over the past 5 years. Our goal is just to simplify stocks daily so that you can grow at least 1% each day. This is Yash Vora from Equity Master. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Happy investing.